Hi, my name is Ian Zabel, and thank you for checking out the Renovation Bible. Today we're talking about a little decorative feature. This is a, a waffle ceiling. This is a this particular project is a flip. All of our flips and all of our um, rentals are exactly the same. We do the exactly the same trim, the paint, the walls, everything is exactly the same. A lot of people think this is overkill, and it's it probably is a little bit of overkill. But the nice thing about it is we've never had to wait to sell a property. We've never had. Um, no tenants want to rent it. So it is a lot of extra work. It is a lot more detail orientated, but at the end, you're getting a superior product. So when we're building a waffle ceiling, the most important thing to do is to map out your room and to make sure that it's going to be square so that each box is the same size because you don't want the box to be one size on one and, and a different size on another because it'll look wonky. The other important element is to locate all your joists in the ceiling so that you can actually screw these large pieces of wood to the, to the ceiling or to the joists so they're not going to fall down and kill anybody. The other element that you're going to have to be concerned about is the thickness of your crown molding. We've made this box about five inches deep and our crown molding is about three and three eighths or three and a quarter. So that we still have a reveal along the bottom of, of, of each of the boxes. So as you can see, we sandwiched two two by sixes together and we put a filler piece in the middle just to make sure um, that's the right height and it doesn't look like wavy up and down. Then we're going to drywall the whole complete area and then we're going to add corner beads on, on, each, on each seam and then we're going to mud it out and then we're going to add our, um, our crown molding and we're going to paint it and then it'll be finished. So the reason why we do this is custom homes have these type of features. If you're going to buy a custom home this would be probably the nine or $10,000 area. It cost me around $2,500, including labor and materials, to make something like this. It is extra work. It does take more time. But for some reason, women fall in love with it. They walk in, they see it, and, and you can hear them talking, even in a rental. Oh, we, this is a great place we really love. Look at the ceiling. The other nice part about it is a lot of these places we're refinancing. So when we're meeting with, with the appraiser, we have a whole list of everything that we're, we're doing. So we'll have a scope of work. We'll have before and after pictures. You know, I had an appraiser on the last house we did about a month ago. He said, I seen that, that ceiling in a $2.5 million house that I did last week. And that's the point. We want them to think that this house is worth more than every other house in this area. Even though it's just a couple pieces of 2 by 6 even though it's just some drywall, it's the perception that this house is worth way more than anything else in the area. And a lot, everything we do has something to do with that particular aspect.